Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Friday chat about stress. Learn a little, or maybe a few tips on what we can do when we're feeling stressed out today. And we'll just wait for a few to join us. A little afternoon cup of coffee. Hi, Jigna. Welcome. Good to see you. My three should be joining us here soon. Here you are. Let me bring you on. Hey, hey. Wait, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Living the dream. Living <laughs> the dream. I saw you got your vaccination today. I did, yeah. It's exciting. One step closer, right? One step closer. <laughs> Congratulations on that. <laughs> oh, thank you. No pain. That's good. Awesome. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I know we're going to chat a little bit about stress, um, but let's say hi to those folks that have joined us. Hey, Jigna and Koi. Welcome, welcome. Hey, guys. Hi, Don. So good to see you. Welcome. We're going to chat a little bit about stress today and talk about some skills we can use to combat that or squeeze that stress out. Um, just a little bit about Zessa Wellness. Uh, my three and I created Zessa several years ago with this idea of bringing mindfulness, meditation, and yoga into the workplace in order to not only just enhance the culture of an organization, but also promote happiness and well-being of, of all those that work in that organization. Um, I am the CEO and co-founder of Zessa, and I'm here today to talk about stress. Let me just hand it over to my three. Hey guys, hi Nikki, I saw you got on. Thank you for joining. Um, so my name is Maitri, I'm Chief Wellness Officer with Zessa Wellness. Um, today we are going to um, start by taking a moment and doing a settling exercise. Um, let's just all take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Feel that tension in your shoulders just melt away a little. Move your head to the right, stretch that out. Move your head to the left, stretch it out. And then maybe rotate back as you feel appropriate. Shake it out, shake it out, shake all that stress out. Woo. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. So, um, Maitri, do you want to kick it off and just talk maybe a little bit about I mean, we all know what stress is. I'm sure we've all experienced it if we're not experiencing it right now. Um, but maybe just a little background in stress and then we'll just talk about um, some ways we can combat that stress awesome. that's not good for us. So what is stress? I think that's the first question from a definition perspective. Um, you know, really stress is a perceived threat that we feel. So when I say perceived threat, um, I think one thing to recognize is that it can be in our mind or it can be a physical threat. So it can be a threat like, oh my goodness, there's a fire and you have to run away from it. That's a physical threat. Um, but there's also the threat that we create in our own mind and there's a mental side to this. So, so if we're stressed about an upcoming meeting that's coming up, that is a perceived threat that's in our head. It's not a physical threat. Um, I think if we look back to history, our ancestors originally had, um, you know, stress was created for our bodies to protect our ancestors against physical threats. So they felt the stress, they knew something was about to happen and they were able to run or protect themselves in whatever manner they needed to. Um, you know, our world has changed quite a bit and a lot of our stress is mental now. We created in our own head. Um, and I think that the beauty is that mindfulness helps kind of you know, it helps prevent some of that. Um, there's hormones that are activated when stress occurs in our bodies. And mindfulness has shown scientifically, and it's been proven to kind of block those hormones and say, hold on guys, like, I, I don't want to feel this stress that you're, you're you know, pushing on me. 
Um, and so, you know, that's why we practice mindfulness. It's a big reason, you know, a big piece of it. Um, it does help with stress management. So are there, um, I heard this thing, you know, these terms going to good stress and bad stress, right? Um, what's the, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, good stress is, is the stress that, um, that motivates you. Good stress is the stress that kind of lights that fire under you. It makes you move. It makes you change. It makes you, you know, um, alter things in your life. Um, bad stress is long-term stress. So there's a the short term and the long term. Um, you know, bad stress is when there's different stages of stress. There's the alarm stage when it's it's fight or flight. It's like, oh my God, something's happening. Like I need to protect myself right now. And you and cortisol rises in your body, all these hormones get fired, and you know, we're ready to go. Um, but then the, the second stage is the resistance stage, and that's when it becomes a long term stress. It's big, it's when our bodies get so used to being stressed continuously that we don't even recognize it anymore. It's just a part of our lives, you know, and I think a lot of us feel this, um, and, you know, from a healthcare perspective, we definitely do. You know, we're working 12 hour days unless we're doing two shifts. Um, it can be extremely taxing on our bodies, physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, spiritually. And, and so there's that, there's that long-term stress. I think that is kind of the bad stress. And at the end of that long-term stress, it leads to exhaustion. And, and um, exhaustion is also known as uh, burnout. Burnout. Ooh. Or can, can also, um, that then, in re, you know, in Domino's effect, it leads to anxiety um, and depression. So, so how do we prevent all that? You know, we stop the stress or we stop the perceived stress. We switch our mindset um, and, and, we, and we kind of, you know, stress is going to be there regardless. Yeah. It's all going to be there. But we switch our mindset and we say, okay, I may be stressed, but how can I cope now? So the opposite of stress would be something like relaxation, right? When we're not tense, we don't have anxiety or we have a lot less of it. And mm -hmm. so one thing to do then would be to have practices that we can do throughout the day that when we notice that we're stressed, we can do little micro practices, right? If we don't have a long time to meditate and, and just relieve some of the stress doesn't make the stress necessarily go away altogether we still have whatever issues right that are real or perceived in our minds that we have to deal with but there are some things we can do right to, to help with the stress um and i can just share a short breathing technique that that has um gained some popularity and i think it's really beneficial um there's all different types of things we can do, different types of breathing, different types of meditation. But one of them in particular is called the four, seven, eight. Um, and when you start this little breathing exercise, they recommend, um, scientists, researchers recommend doing four rounds and then maybe working your way up to eight. So um, if you notice that you're stressed, maybe try this out. You want to practice with me? Maybe yeah. that's what you can yes. practice too. Um, now, you may not have a moment to get settled in and, and find your meditation you know, position with your spine straight up and you're, and, and you're comfortable. You can do this in the moment when you're stressed. You can just stop what you're doing and take a moment to do this. But since we're all sitting here and have the opportunity, let's go ahead and sit if we're not already sitting. We can close our eyes and just have a soft gaze down, keep them open, close, whatever feels right for us. And how we're going to begin this is we're going to inhale for four seconds in through the nose. So it's going to be a quicker inhale. Inhale for four seconds. Three, two, one. Then we're going to hold that air in our belly, deep in our belly for seven seconds. So three, two, one. And then exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So let's do three more rounds of that. We're going to inhale for four, deep inhale, two, one, hold deep in the belly, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale four, 
And hold for seven. And exhale for eight. Do one more round. Deep inhale on the count of four. Ready? Inhale four, three, two, one. Hold seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slow exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And just relax. Find your own natural rhythm of breathing. It can be a little intense, but this breath really helps to take the focus off of the stress and really let you take that deep inhale for a count of four. Allows you to hold it, create that space to let your body settle. And then as you exhale on a count of eight, you're making sure you're releasing all the tension, all that toxins that have built up in the body through the breath. So if you guys want to practice it one more time with me with our eyes closed, let's inhale four, three, two, one, hold, six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. When we're ready, we can slowly just open the eyes. So we can stretch the body, rotate the neck, whatever feels good. Just kind of coming back to our space together. And just know that anytime you're stressed out, you can practice this four, seven, eight breath. And it will immediately calm the nerves, lower that cortisol, and hopefully relieve some of the stress that you're immediately experiencing. Another pointer is this is a great breathing exercise to do right before you go to sleep. So I hope that you found something that you can um, take with you for the rest of your day. Uh, we have meditations on our website, on our YouTube that you guys can go to at any time if you want to learn about deep diaphragmatic breathing and really learn how to train ourselves to breathe. When we were babies, we could do it just fine. And as we, we get older, for some reason, we, we forget how to, to breathe, even though it's very natural. So again, I hope you guys got something from today. And as always, follow us on our social media at Zessa Wellness. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out anytime. We're happy to, to help and assist as we can. I'm so relaxed. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. You have anything you want to add, my three on stress today? Any tidbits you want to leave with everyone? Well, just a note that those long exhalations that we do that Ashley just led, it actually um, stimulates our parasympathetic nervous system. So it kind of calms our body and relaxes us. So that's a little bit about the science behind it. But it is very useful. Thank you, Ashley, for practicing. Thanks for joining me. And we'll have a fun topic for next week. We haven't decided what we wanted to talk about. So if there's anything that you guys are interested in learning more about when it comes to mindfulness meditation, um, let us know and we'll cater that talk um, for you guys. So y'all have a great rest of the Friday. It was wonderful seeing you. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.